All right, we've just started the hike. We're probably about three quarters of a mile in. And uh, who you just saw there, that's one of my brother-in-laws. Originally, we were supposed to go to a whole different place uh, with three of us. But uh, Uncle Bingo, you've seen him in a video before with us, our two kids sledding. He got sick and wasn't able to come, so last second we changed and went to a completely different area. I came up here last year on, on a day hike. What I did is I just kind of did a loop. But this should be uh, the same shot, and I just kind of wanted to show the difference. And this meadow is very, very different. Um, towards the end of the season, you can see this, all this grass. Maybe I'll roll, roll in some of that older footage, but it was waist high. And of course, with all the snow just being melted off of it, it's all flattened down. But that's one of the things I love coming up here is uh, seeing it in all the different seasons. And anyway, just kind of fun. I've been up for about an hour. So it's just after six now. Decided they want to get out here and do a little running around, exploring a little bit. You can kind of see the uh, the aspens are still naked. Uh, still plenty of snow this time of year, and as a result, you know it's really melting off right now. And uh, this right here is actually the trail. Anyway, I thought I'd do a little running around this morning, see if I can catch an elk or a moose or our bear in this area too. What I'm looking at here are bear tracks, so check it out. Right here. Not very big. You can see my hand in comparison. You've got one, two, three, four, five toes. Here's the here's the paw. Kind of fun. Here's part of our camp. We just built a little small wall. And check this out. This is kind of fun. Yeah, how that hangs there. Hangs the pot on the bottom. Now we're just testing it out, so we've got some really dirty snow in there. We're just seeing how it works. That's kind of fun. And we found out why our other brother-in-law didn't come. He's faking sick. But we found out that uh, there's a Britney Spears concert. And we know that uh, Uncle Bingo, a.k.a. Some New Jonas, is his YouTube name. Uh, he's a big Britney Spears fan, so he must have dogged us for Britney. No, that's okay. Whatever. Some New Jonas. If you want to go to a Britney Spears concert rather than come out here and hang out with a couple of brother-in-laws and be manly, hey, you know what? That's, that's up to you. Uh, no hard feelings, man. Hope you enjoy Brittany. The concert, I mean. Friday lunchtime. This is what I'm having. Uh, I just grabbed them. They were one of the cheaper ones. I'm going to throw some of this in there, too. This is just uh, Tuna Creations. There's my potatoes and tuna. <clears throat> um, actually, it's not too bad for not being a big tuna fan. Been threatening on us all day, the rain. Been raining off and on. Wind's starting to kick up now. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what this weather's gonna do. So we we purified some some creek water in this. <clears throat> and after I made some top rum and I poured it in here to make some more, and it, it turned blue. <laughs> That is so So there you up. go. Top ramen and purified water using the little tablets mixed together makes blue. Yeah, we've been up here for a while. We're easily entertained. <laughs> <laughs> well, 
Well, I tell you, this is just gorgeous country. You know, still really early on in the year, especially up here at these elevations, so there's not a lot of green out yet. It's still pretty much uh, dead, or there's a lot of things just barely starting to bud. Uh, if I haven't mentioned already, it's about the end of May. I think it's May 21st, 2010. Um, just gorgeous. I mean, this is this is what I like to do. You know, get out here and get the scenery behind me, and uh, just beautiful, beautiful area. And Seth and I have just been taking a lot of pictures and just kind of going it slow for a few minutes and just enjoying the surroundings. A lot of fun. All right, Seth, you're on. This backdrop is fantastic. You need to put a cabin right here and just, just look at it. That's about all I have to say. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what else to say. Here's an old beaver dam. In fact, these beaver dams are everywhere up here. It's too bad they're not active. We're supposed to get out of here this morning. You can see the cameras fogging up already, but let me show you what we woke up to this morning. You can see it. We've got a lot of snow. Look at this beautiful sight we woke up to this morning. A little different than what we expected, but uh, I thought we were going to get wet today with rain. Um, I had no idea it was going to snow like this. But anyway, it's kind of fun to to see this. Again, it's May 21st, 2010. Actually, today's the 22nd. Yeah, today's the 22nd. This is not a stream. Not a frozen stream. This is a frozen trail that we're supposed to be on. Well, had I filmed this yesterday, you'd have been able to see it better, but there's an old beaver den and uh, here's an old pond and you can there's a big dam down there at the end it's covered in snow right now though but kind of neat the same shot or very well very near to what I had last time <laughs> farmer blow <laughs> <laughs> you call this a feather stick <laughs> <laughs> 